Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Saturday, June the 23rd, and it's 12.07 p.m. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know it's just started itching. Isn't that funny? Anyway, I got a, a message from the Lord this morning. I woke up real, real early, and I ended up going back to bed, so I've already had... Hey! <coughs> Excuse me, my nap. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I rebuke you, demons. <laughs> no, I don't know what's that about anyway. All right, let's try this again. Um, I got when I ended it, but I don't remember when it began. I didn't write it down. All right, this is what he told me. And there's a person's dream mentioned in here, so I'm going to link it in the description box so you can go and watch the dream, okay? So that's confirmation that it was a dream from the Lord. You are my child, daughter, and yes, I love you, but you know that. I love all my children. It is the ones who refuse to love me that I worry about. I am not their God. They serve other gods, but do not even know it. They would tell you that I am their God, but no, I am not. They will be left behind, and there is destruction coming to America, not just on the East and the West Coast, but in between. It will affect the whole country. Some will be natural by my hand. Some will be man-made by the hand of your government. Yes, they know the signs of the end. They know I am coming soon for my bride. They are preparing for it. Yeah, see that. <laughs> They Satan knows the word of God. He knows it better than any of us. They know this better than most of my church. They are asleep. They do not believe I am coming soon for my bride. And they believe I will rapture them up to my heavenlies just the way they are. They need to see this or hear it. They're, <clears throat> excuse me, they are not ready, not purified, not sinless, do not repent, nor ask forgiveness. Their attitude is callous towards sin. They believe my precious blood has covered them, has covered them all, all their sins. They believe my precious blood has covered them all that there is no need to repent or ask for forgiveness how bizarre how ignorant <clears throat> excuse me let me get a sip of water they do not read their holy word as i have left it for them Yes, many books have been removed, but I saw to it that they could not remove certain ones. You all have enough to know how to live right. Hmm. You should know right from wrong. You should know about living with regret for your sins and to ask for forgiveness. Did I not teach my apostles the prayer you all say and know? Forgive us our sins, and we will forgive those who sin against us. Do you know that he's referring to the Lord's Prayer that so many people say? Do you know how many refuse to do this? They don't, they say that prayer. 
in all kind of churches, yet do they mean it? See, do they mean it from their heart? They don't. Far, far, too many, let's see, do you know how many refuse to do this? Far, far, too many, and it grieves me this day. It is right there in black and white, yet their preachers say, grace covers it all. They have learned to take my grace for granted. Repent, ask for the forgiveness of your sins that you have committed. Forgive one another. Return to your word and learn what it means to love me and love one another. Stop taking me for granted. Granted. So many will be left behind to face destruction. Their ears are closed to these warnings. But they shall soon see that I meant what I said. For the rest of you, the few and the faithful, I have everything ready for the fabulous feast up here in my father's mansion. You will all be so surprised. You cannot even imagine what I have waiting for you. Hmm, the light keeps getting brighter and it, I don't, the outside seems the same. I don't know about what's going on there. You cannot even imagine what I have waiting for you. What? Yes, your loved ones who made it, your pets, and so many surprises are waiting for you. No Christmas morning will compare to this. The Christmas dream was just a clue. I have been leaving so many clues for you and I love it that you continue to search them out and try to put the puzzle pieces together. This gives you hope, your blessed hope. So like I said, I'll put the link to that Christmas dream in the description box so you can watch it. The time is near. Do not stop now. Satan is trying to stop many of you. Do not let him. He is mad that he has only a short time left. Keep your armor on. Keep praying continually. Keep asking for the hedges of protection that Father provides. The warrior angels and the wall of fire from heaven. Yeah, that's the hedge of protection made up of warrior angels from heaven. And also a hedge of protection made up of the wall of fire from heaven. That was in a message we um, had. Let's see, did I share that video? I hope so. Um, where somebody received a message saying we should ask for a hedge of protection made up of a wall of fire from heaven. Okay, if you didn't hear it, you're hearing it now. Keep pleading my blood over yourselves, your pets, and your belongings. The demons hate that and will not cross it. My name, my blood, and heavenly prayer are the best weapons you can have. For those who cannot pray in the heavenly language, keep asking me. Press in and it will and I will give it to you. Be faithful and do not worry about it. I want you to have this, but it is not a requirement to enter into the kingdom of God. I know your hearts. 
I know who really desires it versus those who want no part of my Holy Spirit speaking through them. See, that's the difference. Do you want it? Or are you just, oh, I don't want no part of that. See, that is God living in you, speaking through you. Well, don't have that attitude. Repent of it if you've been doing that. And turn and ask Jesus to fill you so full of the Holy Spirit that you can pray in a heavenly prayer language too. Don't think of it as jibber-jabber or babbling because it's not. All right. Okay, so those who want no part of my Holy Spirit speaking through them. This is the difference. Do you understand? Everything comes down to what is in your heart. Let me have first place in your heart. That is what will please me. This is your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yahushua HaMashiach speaking, and I mean what I say. And it was 6.24 a.m. when he was finished. Okay, so the dream will be in the description box. And um, I guess that's all I have to say. I don't need to add anything more to his words. Okay, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection. And over each and every one of you as well. So with that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.